Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome to a new RimWorld series. As you may guess, this time we're going to be focusing on playing with the basic building blocks of life. No, not mechanites, the squishy ones, DNA. So the central mod that we'll be using is Genetic Rim. So Genetic Rim lets us basically stuff animals in a blender and use the DNA that comes out for all kinds of things. Obviously, we want to make all kinds of bizarre animals, but we can also make human and animal implants. Genetic Rim also adds a new win condition, which is very exciting. Basically, instead of just building a ship, we'll be building the ultimate biomechanical horror, which just sounds... awesome. So coupled with Genetic Rim, we'll be using Alpha Animals as usual. Alpha Animals adds all kinds of interesting new creatures, which is always fun, but we'll also be able to use them with Genetic Rim system, and add them into the mix, so to speak. Um, we're also including Magical Menagerie, which adds even more creatures. Next up is Alpha Biomes, which adds 10 different and frankly rather bizarre biomes. We've played with a couple of these already in previous series, and I've really enjoyed them. This time we're going to be playing in the Feralisk Jungle, which promises a terrible swamp filled with unpleasant beasties, I guess. Should be fun! Rounding out these mods um, is Questionable Ethics Enhanced, which lets us make clones and organs, should we so desire, and the Bioreactor mod, which lets us use prisoners as an energy source. Neither of these is strictly necessary, but they're fun, and really I think we need them to kind of complete this whole mad science vibe. I also want to add a challenge for myself, um, which is to actually use the creatures we create in combat. That's something I almost never do, but this setup just kind of demands it. In addition to these, I've got my usual collection of quality of life mods, and you can find these in the mod list linked in the description below. But enough talking, let's go ahead and let's get started. Alright, so we're just going to do the basic crash landed scenario. Um, we'll be using Cassandra, but we're actually going to use a custom setup here. So, um, if we take a look at the hardest setting, we can actually tweak these even further. Um, I don't know how much I can play with them before I can't beat the game anymore. Let's move them all up a little. Let's make this 225, harvest yield 75, mining 75, butchering 75. Research speed, 85. This is really fun, isn't it? 100%, blah, blah, blah. Scary a rot chance at 100%. Enemy death on downed. Huh, interesting. Okay. Um, colonist mood, 12. This is probably fine. Food poisoning should be fine. Animal revenge is fine. Let's add a little more infection. Let's add a little more disease. Bugs are fine. Oh, I hate infestations. We'll do that. And I think that's probably good. Ancient threats, natural hives, traps, snuffs, mortars, yep. Oh, here we go. Um, we can scale these up. So this is um, the rate that the challenge grows, and this is the effect of that adaptation value on actual threats. I don't really know what that means, but let's increase it a little. We'll see what happens. It'll be fun, right? Right. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's generate a decent sized world here. This is no problem. Alright, so we're going to be using an extra mod that was just pointed out to me called Prepare Landing. This is cool. Basically, instead of clicking all over the map, this thing will actually find you the different biomes. So we're looking for Feralisk Jungle. Um, I like small hills. I think that's the best terrain. Um, filter the tiles. If we hit minimum. Now look! Hooray! There are, oh, only four on the map. Okay. Well, that's fine-ish. Actually, it's kind of not. Are these mountains? No. Okay. Well, oh, we could be on the one with the river. Oh, yeah, let's do that. That'll be cool. All right. Um, yeah, that looks good. And then that's it. The mod doesn't do anything else. So let's go ahead and let's prepare carefully. Um, I've got a preset already ready here. So we've got our usual couple people starting out here. Um, I just want to kind of get the basic things set up so that we don't have any pyromaniacs and we have some people that can cover most of the basics. Um, otherwise, I tend to keep them fairly useless because otherwise, you know, it's too tempting to make them overpowered. Um, for equipment, so given that we're starting on this really challenging biome that's full of nasties, I decided for once that I'm going to give myself a good pet. I'm giving myself a Ripper Hound. <sighs> Isn't this cool? So these were created as a purely biological defense against insectoids. They're a genetically engineered species bred for hunting and defeating them. These hulking canines sport two viciously sharp claws specially designed to attach to chitinoid plates and rip them apart. Despite their fearsome appearance, ripper hounds can be extremely affectionate and loyal, and they love to be pet by those they trust. This has some armor, this can actually attack things. I think that this will actually give us some survivability. Otherwise, it's going to be like me and cats, you know where I spawn with a cat, and poof, all of a sudden it's cat for dinner. So beyond that, this is all pretty much, I don't know, set as default, so let's go ahead and let's get started. 
All right. And welcome to the world. So, we've got you guys. Um, we'll come back to you in just a moment here. Let's take a look at this map. Ooh, pretty. Well, that river running through the middle is actually really quite annoying, but okay. So what do we got around here? We've got jungle trees. Okay, they're trees. Fine. We've got you, Gamphoria. I think I'm saying that wrong. Maybe. Slightly toxic. Okay, we won't eat you. Um, Red Bugloss? One of the weirdest plants from Earth, modified to thrive in wet, warm environments. Okay, that's great. Ooh, look at you. What are you? Aklak something? A huge, rare flower which can be found in the deepest jungles. Well, that's where we are, so perfect. Alright. So, taking a look around here. Not a ton of resources. We're going to have to think about deep drilling fairly early. Um, there's not really an obvious place to set up either. I think we may just settle more or less on spot. Maybe. Let's see here. So, um, what does the fertility look like? This is actually not bad. Actually, if we started building right here, this is perfect. We can build some farmland. There's actually, oh, a steam vent right there. This would actually be a great spot to start just right there. Okay, that's definitely an option. Uh, what do we have for wildlife? Oh, overgrown colossus. I think these are super cool. Look at them. Aren't they adorable? Yes, they are. These are basically giant things that have trees on their back because of course they do. Oh, this will be fun. All right, chimeras, dunalisks. Oh, look at this. Webbed marshy soil. Ah, cool. And chimeras, oh my God, we are gonna get. <laughs> oh, oh, this is gonna be fun. But yeah, let's set up right here. I think this is a good area. Yeah, okay, so how do I wanna do this? Yeah, so we can, yeah, so we can just basically set up right here. Um, let's just throw a box in here. We'll make this even worse than usual. <laughs> That's not easy, but I assure you, it can be done. It will be done. It is, in fact, being done. All right, so let's set this to home zone. And... Oh, I don't have my cleaning mod installed. Um, I'll have that installed by the beginning of the next episode, so we can go ahead and take a look at that. Build a roof. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, you'll figure it out. Go ahead and allow everything on the map. Let's go ahead and let's put a stockpile zone... We can just start stockpiling indoors, because reasons. I don't know, whatever. And let's see here, so let's take a look at you guys. Didn't really look at you terribly carefully. Um, maintain VAT. <laughs> Warden, fine. Handling, yeah, sure. Um, construct, looks like you'd be my researcher. Didn't look at these terribly carefully. My miner and my grower, that's not helpful, to be honest. Okay, at the moment, why do you guys clean? Just do something like that? Maybe? Two. Yuck. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and do that. Alright, and let's see here. Weapons, 3.8, shooting, 3.8, shooting. Oh my god, okay. Well, this should be exciting. Well, you guys just go ahead and grab weapons at random then, and I guess it doesn't really matter who uses what. And... I think that will be a good start. <gasps> Your name is Butterfly? Oh, that's... that's phenomenal. I love that. That is super cool. Hunter Lux range weapon. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Actually, actually then, I have these weapons backwards. Here, go ahead and uh, drop your weapon. And Connor, go ahead and grab it. Hurry up, come on guys. And equip. Okay. And let's get some growing going here, so let's throw in just, I don't know, potatoes or something out here, just so we've got it. Um, well, this is going to be really hard to find these. <laughs> oh no, I have no idea where it started. Well, we'll find out once we have stuff growing, I suppose. Okay, this is fine. Go ahead and grow some cotton, because we'll need that eventually. Um, I Again, I can't see anything. Okay, you're actually way over here. Um, that's fine, I don't think I have anyone that can grow Heorit. Yeah... That will be problematic in the future. Not for right now. Right now, we have other things to worry about. So, go ahead and do those other things. Let's put a dumping stockpile out here, just because reasons. We should probably get you guys some beds. Wooden beds will be fine. You just go ahead and throw up any, uh, just anywhere you want. It'll be okay. 
So this is from Quality Builder. If you've never used this mod, you can basically set the minimum quality that you want the item to be constructed as. And if the um, crafter makes something lower quality, they will just take it apart and remake it. It's actually really quite handy. I don't need it now, but it's still handy. All right, people, bring all this stuff in. Maybe I should have you chop some more trees too while we're at it. Do we have any others around here? Oh yeah, yeah, there's some trees to chop here and there. Okay, good. It's actually better putting down the growing zone because then everything else will get chopped as well. See, look, this rat's gonna come eat all of our food and we're gonna be stuck like with a wall and a rat and no table. Oh my God, we're screwed. I almost forgot about a table. We'll build a tiny table. Where are you? Silver and steel. Yeah, I don't even have enough wood. I can... Oh, there we go. Okay, it'll let me do it. And so, like that. And can I just put a wooden stool in here? I can. Okay, good. All right, so now I just need this stuff built and wood hauled over and everything like that. So, work harder. Good morning, campers. And I see that you have successfully failed... Oh, God. Oh, this is going to be fun. You have failed to, uh... Let's see here. Build this table, that's right. So everyone's going to freak out now. Fox, are you nearby? You're kind of not. Oh, there we go. Someone built the table. Hooray! Look at you, boulder mites. Oh, I love boulder mites to death. They're so cool. They use a boulder as a shell. They're adorable. What are you guys up to? You are hauling steel. That's also fine. It's too bad that we don't have any structures right near us to take apart. I didn't really think about that. That's okay. We'll just build everything out of wood for a while. It'll be fun. I'm gonna have to have you chop some of these things because these are really in the way. <laughs> and let's see here. Yeah, let's, um... How should we do this? Need recreation. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. We want to kind of close this area in to some degree. Is this buildable? Oh, okay, good. I just all of a sudden wasn't sure if it could be built on because otherwise that would have been slightly irritating. Please feel free to chop all the trees in the world. I'm just saying. If nothing else, I want to keep the animals out of my growing area. Chop those down too. Hurry up. And you guys started a social fight already. That didn't take long. What did you do? Ah, uh, subtly shamed Fox's hairstyle. Seriously? 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 All right, all right, all right. Oh, let's set you guys to um, not have medicine for that. All right, I'm gonna use my doctor, right? Yep, Fox. Uh-oh. That didn't take long. Um, let's see if we can come help you out. Who's outside? Does someone have a gun? Where is my third person? Oh, you're way over here. Yeah, come here. Come help. I don't know if you can beat a chimera all on your own. Um, come here, butterfly. You guys got this. Destroy. Okay, animal revenge is not great. Fox, please back up. Please don't die, Fox. Like, you can't die right away. Like, that's a little too... That's too much. We may be in some trouble here. Okay, good. You're bleeding out. Good, good. I mean, you're bleeding out too, so that's not amazing. There we go. Okay. Well, things are going well. Um, you can have actual medicine now. Um, for sure. Can you please uh, tend to yourself? Okay. Well, that was fast. <laughs> oh, animal needs treatment. Yeah, are you okay? You're not doing great, but you're not doing terrible. When you're done, tend to butterfly, and then eventually tend to Connor. All right, well, at least you didn't lose any major body parts. I mean, that could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. Trust me, it can. All right, let's just increase our stockpile a little. So... Yeah, we're not going to be ready for research for a while. Let's just go ahead and let's just kind of box this area in that we're working in. I don't know, something like this, maybe. And then I can put an entrance down here, maybe, something like that. I guess we'll see. Hmm, okay. 
No problem. Now, I don't really want my people to freak out, so I'm going to try to move all this stuff outside. Um, I'll make this be my, you know, storage. Unfortunately, that's not going to work so well when these people are in bed. Can you please get up and go help? Okay, you're up. Or you will be up momentarily. Fox, however, is probably going to be taking the day off. And I guess that's all right. But I need to get all the steel and stuff into this outdoor area. And to do that, we need walls. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, what's it look like in here? I mean, it's not that bad. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Let's cut all these down while we're out here. Chop down, chop down, chop down. It's just basically because it's in my way. I don't know what else to do with this. So I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> we're nowhere near butchering, so it's like, I don't know. And, oh, you can haul that too when someone gets to it. Do you need, like, more trees to chop down? Because I can give you more trees to chop down, let me tell you. We got trees for days around here. Chop down those. Chop down these. Chop down that. I know we need a lot of lumber, but we need to get to that, please, sooner rather than later. Didn't I set these to be chopped down? I thought I had. I'm going to leave these things because they're funny. These, like, weird red... What are these called? The bugloss or something like that? That's weird. We have a visitor. Hi, visitor. I'm too busy to deal with you. Alright, good. Let's put a door on here. Then we can move all of our general storage outside. And they will like that. We'll just put our regular stockpile in here. Just thought I'd leave this guy outside as bait and see if that helped. But, alas, it didn't help. Okay, let's shrink the zone first of all, and let's turn this into our food-only one. Um, food and medicine, actually. So we want foods, um, medicines, drugs, should that show up. Um, and we'll put this to critical, and then this is basically everything else at normal. That will be okay. I'm not too worried about it. Let's make this a little bigger, just in case. Yeah, that's the wrong button. Let's try that again. Let's make this a little bigger, just in case. So long, visitor. Our conversation was never actually going to happen. So, alas. Need more trees, guys. And let's make this inside not quite so awful. You already have an extra pair of pants? Hmm, I suppose. Alright. So just finish up this wall, and then we should be pretty close to being ready. Fox, seriously. Ravenously hungry, go eat. Awful barrack. Yeah, it's 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 not great. I'm not gonna lie. It's uh it's grim. That's for sure. Oh my gosh, would you guys just build these walls? Thank you. Alright, so that one's done. And we should probably go ahead and make an entrance. Maybe. Um, let's actually... Let's take a look at our research. So... This is going to be all the usual stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to think about deep drilling sooner rather than later, like I said. And that is not easy to get at. It requires going through microelectronics, which is really not what I want to start with. Um, prosthetics, this is standard. Um, a dog said standard. Here's our genetic research. Oh, yeah. Okay, so genetic engineering. Learn the basics. Okay. We can begin experimenting on most creatures. <laughs> anyway, never mind. So we'll build that stuff. Uh, animal enrichment. It's good to know that we can build enrichment centers. Different genomes. Oh, this will be fun. Questionable ethics. Always a classic. Organ vats, refining, genome sequencing, cloning people is fun. It gets a little OP if you get carried away with it, but it is pretty cool. Where are... Are um, little pods to keep people in the bioreactors. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, so what do we have for power at the moment? All we have is um, windmills, right? I don't actually remember if I left a big enough space here. I'm stalling here as I space because for some reason I'm staring at this. Okay, there we go. It's moved around. Yeah, it's just wind turbines. Uh, all right. Why can't I put it there? Oh, probably the ground. Oh, hilarious. Okay. Well, anyway, put one there. Um, we're in some power in. It'll be fun. Uh, we don't know how to make batteries yet, so we'll have to deal with that. We should actually mine this out so we've got some more space. I suppose we could go ahead and we could start researching. 
I don't really want to, but I guess that we have to. Yeah, all right. Go ahead and do it. We'll wedge it in there. <laughs> Just to give you some motivation. Then we'll put in lights and stuff like that. Connor, you have five seconds, right? You're not assigned to mining. Okay, I need everyone at mining at four. Even if you suck at it. Uh, Morg is the person I want to come work at. Thought that might have been our first raid already, but not quite yet. Do we have enough steel to build the stuff we should? Yeah, we got a thousand steel. A mad swarmling. What, pray tell, is a swarmling? Well, first of all, it's dead. That was extremely uninformative. Oh my god, what the hell are you? Oh, raptor shrimps. <gasps> cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a little tricky working on keeping animals out of our base and out of our bodies versus like having okay targets for raiders. I don't know how that's going to work out. This could be interesting. Okay, thank you for screwing that up. I appreciate that. Is this really... This is Fox's fault, right? Yeah, this is Fox's fault. Okay, seriously, come make this. Can't have you screwing this stuff up. We don't have a lot of components. Yes, 28 sounds like a big number, but it's not. Not at all. Alright, and then once you've got that done... Oh yeah, recreation variety. Um, here, how about you have a horseshoe pen? And it can go there. Yes. Go play horseshoes. This doesn't need to be in here. Disconnect a generator. I know, because I don't have batteries yet. I don't know how to make batteries. All right. Good morning, campers. You're idle. Ho, 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 ho. No one is ever going to be idle in my area. Let's see here. We could actually use a door back here. But for that, we need some more lumber. So go ahead and chop those down. And yeah, I guess I can just put in like a wooden door. I'm sure that'll work great. I expanded the growing zones just a little bit here while everyone is sleeping. Not by much. This is going to be heal root once we can actually make it. I think that this will be enough veggies that we'll be able to get going. It should be fine. Major breakers. Yeah, I know. Fox, it's because you're not like doing anything. You have an awful barrack. Look at this. I was even trying to make you a bedroom. I mean, it's not much of a bedroom. But it's kind of a bedroom. It's the type of bedroom that you would make if you hated people. Is the kind that it is. Oh, I hear so many things dying. A decay drake. Awesome. What are these? Fermenting mounds. A clump of rotting organic matter. Reeks of rotten alcohol. Okay. That's... Okay. Definitely a thing that exists. All right. Oh, we need a name. Okay. Factions. North Roba Human Light Compact. I like that all by itself. And what should we call it? Terrace Plateau. We're going to pass on that. Here's a good one. So you know when you're at Amazon and like there's all those weird random off brands and they were clearly generated by a random word generator? This is an actual brand name. And I like it because it doesn't actually contain any vowels and no Y doesn't count. It's really funny that you guys keep running out of things to do. Like, you really you really don't want to chop any more trees down or anything, huh? I mean, it would be convenient to have more lumber. That hitching every afternoon, by the way, is um, progress renderer, which lets me make those cool um, time lapses at the end of our series. Okay, so let's see here. So where can I start building? So it looks like um, here. Um... This planning mod is really great, by the way. You can see there's all these different colors and stuff you can use. It's so amazing. So I built this basically totally wrong. Okay, that's fine. Cargo pods, really? Containing milk. We're not running across the map for milk. Um, actually, I've got this wrong, too. How do I want to do this? Well, frankly, for now, just build a little thing there, and I should actually start you mining because we do need this area, like, open. And then let's go ahead and let's get some research going. So, um... Crap. I guess batteries and then probably solar panels. Oh, I don't even have a light inside, do I? Here, let's add a light. Um... Everything is in, like, a slightly different spot. This is the wall light mod. I like these quite a bit. 
because they just go in the wall. There's nothing special about them. They're just, you know, a light. Here, why don't you uh, give Fox a chair? That'll be nice, won't it? Yes, it will. Yeah, there's more planning. It gives you a bunch of colors. It gives you the option on whether or not you want to remove the plans once the thing's been built. All kinds of good stuff. Obstructed generator by a deep tree. Seriously? Seriously? Here, let's turn this all into a growing zone. Um... There, good. So I've got a gigantic hay grass zone and then just some more, I don't know, potatoes, I guess. Could make some smoke leaf, actually, to make people happy. Let's grow smoke leaf. That'll be funny. And you guys almost have bedrooms. You're very close. Perfect. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Mate, you don't have to mine in the middle of the night, buddy. You know, I actually never did set up your schedules. Um... Let's see here. So, using the better pawn control mod, you can go ahead and you can create all these complicated different things here. Um, I'll kind of show you how that goes. So, we're going to have, let's say, normal. And then animals, we also want animal normal. Or actually, I can just call it normal for them. So, now that this is set on normal, now I can get everyone unrestricted. Um, I can give you times to work, times to play. Just... We're early on in the colony, so I need you to get a lot of work done, please. But it is important that you get some recreation every day. Even though it's just hanging out. You'll have a good time. Probably. Connor is such a trooper. He has a mining of zero. But you're working hard at it. Sort of. You hate it. <laughs> Welcome to a mining of one. Oh, man. And yeah, I need this taken out so I can build a proper entrance. I mean, it's going to look different, but at the moment, it can be okay. We'll be fine for the very first raid, but after that, this can't be left like this. The fertility over here sucks. I just need to make sure that nothing grows and obstructs our generator, basically. Hey, okay, good. Chopping down some more trees. Very good. And here is our first raid from the Nuke Men. <gasps> That's so amazing. The Nuke Men? I love it. Absolutely love it. Once you get down here, we'll shoot you. Because I need your knife. I'm not even going to bother, like, dealing with my defenses for you. But that does mean we can't wait too much longer. Come on, hurry up. Okay. Everyone. Come on over here, please. Whatever weapons you have will be sufficient. Even your knife. Whoa, this guy's fast. Faster than I thought. Let's knock him down as quick as we can then, huh? Okay, let's hit him. Okay, this isn't gonna go great for us if we have to, like, yeah, actually engage in melee combat. Come on, guys. Connor's gonna get killed. Connor can't die, at least not right away. Okay, nicely done. And we're not gonna rescue you because... Well, actually, do we want you? N <laughs> No, <laughs> we don't. Uh, I don't even want your crummy gear. Yeah, no, we'll leave you for the animals. Thanks, though. I appreciate you stopping by. You just rot out there. Maybe something will come hunt you and save me some trouble. All right, 24 meals. Oh, God, are we going to have enough food? I think we will. Uh-oh, that wasn't a good sound. Oh, that's just the feralisks and stuff. That's okay. I don't care about them. Let's extend our grow zone even a little further. And just don't build this way, Deco. And Connor's gotten an infection. Okay, that's not great. That's not great at all. Hmm. I think you'll be okay. Yeah, you should be okay. I should have let them uh, use some medicine. That's unfortunate, but we'll work on it. Yeah, we have no way of preparing meals. I have no way of getting meals. You're gonna have a tantrum. What are you destroying? You're gonna destroy my components? Ah, oh, the hell you are. What we are gonna do is come knock you down is what's gonna happen. Don't destroy my components. Don't destroy my components. No! 
Oh no! This is so bad! You destroyed my components! Oh no! Okay... Oh no! Alright. Well, this will be interesting. I mean, there's some available on the map, but not, not a ton. And my miner sucks at mining. Well, come mine these just so we've got some. I mean, that's not true. You're at almost a seven. That's actually not bad. I can't believe you destroyed all my components. I am so mad at you. See, look, something coming at the corpse. No problem. I don't have to, I'll like, dig you a grave. Okay, so what are our factions called? We've got the Nuke Men. We've got, yeah, the Nuke Men, the Kin League, the Grey Basin Tribe. Huh, interesting. Well, it should be fun. Oh, Miner, where are you, Morg? Need to make sure you bring that stuff back with you. Needs treatment, yep. Fox should tend to you with actual medicine, yep. So now you should be okay. Yep, tending quality, good. Okay, good. Yep, you're not gonna die. Bah! 27 components! Whatever, man. Yeah, we're working on batteries. I don't know how to make them yet, so stop complaining at me. We've got 18 meals. That's fine. It'll be okay. Remember when I had components? <sighs> Those were good days. I mean, we have 10 now. Which isn't terrible, but it's pretty bad. How's your infection going? Panther is hunting morgue. Okay, that's a lot less good. Hi, Panther. Oh, I'm gonna need to bother you guys in just a moment here and have you come help. Fox, what are you up to? Cheering up patient. Well, I don't care. Come on. Let's go scare the panther away, hopefully. So far, our track record on killing things is actually extremely poor. Come on. Kill it. There you go. It should run away, but let's shoot it anyway, just in case. Hey, Connor, you can go lay back down. But you two, come over here. It's going to change its mind, and it's going to try to come after us again. Come on. There we go. And that should solve our panther problem, correct? Yep. Thanks, team. And is it the same panther, or is it a different panther? A different panther, okay. Well, let's keep killing panthers. Like, I don't know how to tell you that, like, you're not going to be allowed... Cloud watching, okay. You are not going to be allowed to, uh, kill any of our colonists. And Butterfly is not yet trained. Soon. Oh, look at this little icon. Oh, that's new. Thanks, team. Does that mean you have an infection? Oh, that's super neat. That didn't used to be there. I like it. Okay. Okay, seriously. Like, yeah, we've got to pull construction down because I need to have our research and get done. We haven't even learned how to make batteries yet. Like, this is pretty bad, guys. Yeah, low food, no kidding. I mean, we can just, like, make a fire and cook some food that way. Oh, you know, we should bury this guy. It's pretty early on, and more importantly, I don't have a way to set him on fire. Oh yeah, that's right, because this is useful for um, meditation purposes. Maybe I should put a grave inside my base then. Yeah, let's do that. I like that plan. For sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's take a break here. But before you close the window, let me just hit my usual first episode speech here. So first of all, if RimWorld looks like fun to you, go buy it. It's important to support the developers that make the games we love so that they can continue to make them. Also, consider picking up the soundtrack. It's wonderful, it's cheap, and composers don't get the credit they deserve. Um, Third-ish, um, I guess I'm continuing to do the game giveaway at the start of each series. Um, leave a comment below, just post, I don't know, whatever, anything, and I will random off a copy of RimWorld and the Royalty DLC at the beginning of Episode 3. Um, and I think that is it. 
please feel free to leave a like or subscribe or whatnot. Um, I've got a Patreon campaign if you're so inclined. But in any case, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.